What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Katana in Mortal Kombat 1. Going over some tips and tricks on how to play Katana, some best strategies to be using, and of course some fun and easy combos that you can use today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get right into it. Please pause your screen right here. These are the universal terms that we're gonna be using when talking about combos and special moves and such, just so everyone can understand what we're talking about. So the first thing to know about Katana, she has no overhead strings. So your only overhead option is gonna be a jump in two or jump in one. But she does have some pretty good low options, including her back three, her back three, three, and your back four is really good. This sweep, here's what's really, look, look at that range we got going on. Look at this range. Absolutely disgusting. And the best part about it, you don't even use your feet, so it doesn't, doesn't even look like a sweep at all. You're gonna catch your opponent off guard so many times. Like, look at this. This is just insane. Your other low option is 1-4. It's more of a combo ender, not really a pop-up or anything like that. You can't cancel into specials from that. Now, your really good combo strings for Katana are gonna be your back 2-4. That's a pop-up. Your back 3-4. That's a pop-up as well. But keep in mind, you're in the air from this. That little frame right there, you're in the air. Or your four to one, two combo, that is cancelable into a special. So the strings you're probably gonna use the most often is your four to one, two, back two, three, or your back three, four. You just don't have any pop-up strings to put your opponent in the air. The way to get your opponent in the air is gonna be your actual fan special moves. That's how you can get your opponent in the air to do air combos. Speaking of her specials, Katana's got her fans put your opponent in the air, which is great. She just has a good fan toss for projectile. Keep in mind, most of Katana's specials kind of make you, the player, decide how far do you want to throw your projectiles. Like, like the fan here, we can go close, we can go far, or we can go normal. Now, how you decide that you see here, after you do the special move, you have to hold towards yourself or away from yourself to decide, do you wanna go close or do you wanna go far? If you don't hold any direction, you're gonna go kind of medium. But keep in mind, Katana's enhanced fan toss, her actual fan pop-up move, and her wind bomb all require you, the player, to decide how far do you wanna put these specials. They don't track or anything like that. So same with her wind bomb, we have to do back, down, forward, four, and then decide where do we want that bomb to land, close, medium, or far? Keep in mind, her wind bomb is 56 frames on starter, so it comes out super slow, but it's unblockable. You don't want to ever really throw that out there, honestly, because then you're just gonna get punished like crazy. The best time to throw that wind bomb out there is when you put your opponent in the air like this, put your wind bomb out, when they get up, what are they gonna do? They can't block it. It's a really good strategy and a great way to pressure your opponent and kind of put them in a loop. Like, they can't block it, so what are they gonna do? They gotta jump, and then you just anti-air them. But even in the corner, it's devastating, really. Now what are they gonna do? They gotta jump, and if they jump, they're screwed. The pressure Katana can put on the field with that wind bomb is disgusting. The biggest tip I have for Katana players is get used to deciding how far you wanna throw your projectiles, including the wind bomb as well, especially in the corner, because if you're gonna do a pop-up in the corner, you gotta do close fan toss instead, so that way it actually lands like so. Close, then it lands, then you can continue your combo from there. But if we did far, it's not gonna land. It's something you just gotta get used to when playing Katana. Now for wake up attacks, Katana has two great options for wake up attacks. She has her down back two and her down forward two. So we have her down back two, down forward two. Now if you enhance your down forward two, you do gain armor. It's a great way to wake up, because again, it, it, not really a combo extension, but you gain armor, you can go through a couple hits. Now for Katana's air combos, she really only has a couple that are very worth it. In the corner, you're gonna wanna use Fan Slam. That's your, that's your jump and then two, one. The reason why you wanna use it in the corner mostly is because it bounces your opponent back up on the ground to continue, but if you do it mid screen, they kind of bounce too far away to really do anything. Your other option is to do one, one. You can do one, one, two, but one, one is more cancelable into your down back two in the air or down back one in the air. So you can either do one one two or one one then a special in the air you want easy fun damage you can always do three four in the air and i'll show you how all these look right now so to show you the two one what i'm talking about here you'll see them bounce but see how far away they are we can't really do much but we can do our one one two in the air for a full combo that is 290 that's pretty good or we can do our three four that's 270 or you can just do two in the air for a special as well so we'll do two special or we can do a different special move on the surface, Katana is pretty easy to understand and get the hang up off the get-go, but she can be pretty dang complex and have a lot of awesome deep stuff. Take some practice, but man, she is worth it. Now, for some fun and easy combos that you can learn today.
guys, let me know down below. What do you think of Katana in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like her? Do you hate her? Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.